Xbox. Now joining us in studio is Catherine Nanziri, who uh, is going to give us so many details about her career because she's about to blow up. And everyone out there needs to pay a bit more attention. Uh, but joining her in studio today is uh, Stephen Sembuya, who is the manager. Um, and we shall get more details about you as well yes, as sir. we go on with the show. Obviously, Andrew Mangusha is still here with us. Just to remind you, uh, Max Ali will be joining us a bit later on the show for Max Tells. Uh, you want to stick around for that because he's got a huge name that suddenly he will be discussing today. Catherine. Yes. Good evening and such a pleasure to welcome you to the press box. Good evening to you too. And I'm very glad that you did welcome me to the press box. Yeah. And I'm glad that I'm here. When I was introducing you, I said you are a James are superstar in the making. When you look at the stage you are in your career now, mm. does that resonate? Yeah, of course it does resonate. Mm. Cause right now, I'm the first of female, female boxing in Uganda. Cause everywhere you go around, as long as you put in female boxing in Uganda, it's my name that appears. Yeah. Same as some former boxers, mm. Helen Baleke, for example. But right now, I'm resonating in Uganda, so I'm the first of boxing in female. Yeah. Don't you don't, don't you like don't you like her attitude? I mean, she just stepped up and said, "I'm the face." I mean, whatever you think, she's the face, mm -hmm. and rightly so. <coughs> uh, and we are going to talk about you planning to turn pro, which is definitely huge. But you just threw a few female names in there. Where I come from, uh, and I'm sounding a bit naive here. It's mm -hmm. almost unheard of for women to be, you know. In rugby in, in mm -hmm. you know, boxing uh, obviously it's happening now we do know that but you must have gone through past so many stereotypes so many battles yeah. to be a boxer how then do you decide i'm going to box actually it started in school because i was in i i do i used to study at agri memory school mm -hmm. and the game was practiced in the school so i just picked interest because mm -hmm. I had I usually go away to work them after my lessons. Yeah. So one of my coaches told me that, of course you are a champ. You can do this. Why can't you join? So mm. I just joined just for fun. But later on, mm. I did pick interest. <laughs> so when I picked interest, I said, why can't I be unique? Mm -hmm. Cause no female girls are around in boxing right now. Cause back then I wasn't a very fan of boxing. So when I joined the sport, that's when I started picking the interest yeah. in wanting to know who are the ladies in the sport in Uganda. So that's when I picked the interest. Girl, it very interested that I had to quit all my jobs, the work, and people started saying, even at home, they said, we could you quit the job that is paying, yet you, you go join boxing, yeah. which is not paying. That's very stupid of you. Yeah. Then I say, no, it's not stupid, because I do work, them. I do work yeah. and they need the money as well. But I feel like... I can do the sport, because back then I wanted to win a medal. Mm -hmm. All I needed was to just enter the ring and get a medal. Yeah. But when I got the medal, it was a silver medal, the intermediates, the national intermediates. Mm -hmm. Then I said, why a medal? This isn't, this isn't enough for me. Mm. My name is Catherine Nasli. Back then, I didn't mm -hmm. like my name, my Nasli name. Yeah. So I only wanted Catherine. But when, when I got further, then people started calling me Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Then yeah. I started picking the interest. So now, as you see me right now, yeah. all I need is my name, Nazi. Yeah. So <laughs> Nazi. the name isn't... Yeah. Well, whoever said that was a stupid decision, the joke is on them now. Uh, yeah. We shall discuss that shortly. Uh, Sembia, let me quickly bring you in before I come to uh, Mwangusha. Okay. What do you have here? Um, what we have here is um, boxing. Yeah. Uh, we have the faces of boxing. Uh, we have uh, the most decorated boxers signed by our company, yeah. Tours Sports Runs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot talk about boxing and you don't mention Shadil Musa. Uh, you cannot <laughs> talk about boxing and you don't mention David Semujo. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about female boxing, actually in Africa, and you don't mention Catherine Nazi. Nazi. Uh and Swalik and a few other guys that yeah. we've signed up. So these guys have literally won everything there is to to win in amateur boxing. Yeah. So we feel as um, <coughs> as uh, 12 sports rounds, it's that time when they should be turning pro. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank God, come 1st April, uh, it will be a Friday. Yeah. Uh, these guys are going to be turning pro. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're open, giving them a platform to uh, create records on box rate. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter how many uh, amateur fights you've won. As long as you don't turn pro, then you're not considered yeah. a boxer in the world. Yeah, I mean, it's a big menu. It's yeah. not happened anywhere in yeah. the world, in, in, in Uganda before, where you have all the top boxers mm -hmm. at the same venue. Yeah. And uh, thank God, uh, NTV is going to be our partner yeah. in this. Uh, we have uh, KCC, they're also going to be our partners. And uh, when we're looking out for a venue, 
I mean, these are Olympians. Yeah. We have three Olympians on board. I mean, we gave them, we offered them KCCA, MTN, yeah. um, uh, are in, uh, they are KCCA, Omondi Stadium. Uh, Stadium. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's going to be huge. Uh, just to remind you, by the way, if you want to enjoy that extravaganza when it comes down to boxing, we are giving away tickets. How many are we giving away tonight? Five? Yeah, five tickets. All you have to do is quickly head down to our social media, that is at NTV Press Box. We put a poll in there asking you if you can name any Ugandan boxers, any Ugandan boxers that have won any type of medal at the Olympics. Use the hashtag NTV Press Box. We shall be giving those away so you can see the new generation and suddenly where Uganda's boxing is headed. Happy Women's Day. I didn't say that. Yeah. Thank you. Feel embarrassed, mm -hmm. but it's all good. Uh, happy Women's Day. Uh, as I call him Mangusha now. Uh, and you see, uh, I was sitting here watching Nazare say uh, she liked the fun, mm -hmm. and that's why she joined boxing. Mm -hmm. Be before you joined, yeah. is there anyone who inspired you, a woman? A woman. As I told you that back then I wasn't a very fan of boxing, mm. but as I joined the sport, mm. I started to Google out or find out that the women in sport, in my sport of boxing. So when I Googled out, I found like in Uganda, I, I didn't actually, me as Nanzri, mm -hmm. I don't see myself as a national champion. I would like to go higher for yeah. internationally, worldwide. Mm. Yeah, so actually this is home because mm. you first start from the grassroots up to the world championships. Mm. So I googled out, so a people who did inspire me most in female boxing, it was Laila Ali, then Katie Taylor, yeah, also the other Layla women that I had, yeah, Amanda Serrano, so yeah. that's when even Clarissa Clarice was, he's sure. very mm. nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, and you talked about winning uh, medals, but now you feel you need to upgrade, you yeah. need some cash, mm -hmm. and that's why you're turning pro. Of course, you know, <laughs> boxing, <laughs> We, we do give in all cause. It's a sport where we do all things. Yeah. Mm. We do run, mm. we do physicals, yet other sports don't do such things. Then after that you enter the ring, mm. you get hit by the head, yeah. you go back home, you can't even take tea, you can't even eat food because mm. of the salt. So actually I looked as I said, when is the right time? where I should start earning money mm -hmm. for my career because mm. kills do pay the bills. Yeah. Mm. So I did say, mm, it's never too late and it's never too early mm. when it's time to earn money. Yeah. Mm. So that's when I decided and said, why would I just keep myself on a level where, actually it's the best level because we all start from amateur, but I would like to pull up my socks so yeah. that mm. I could go on a higher level. But you understand? I'll oh, come uh, back to you shortly. Okay. Uh, Mungsha, I'm the host, so I'm okay, kind sir. of allowed to ask a question. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Uh, but I want to uh, bring your attention to what he just said. Mm. Uh, the, the fact that it's, it's, it's such a tight industry and you're in there as well. And for me, it, it's... I, I tried to start gym last month. Right. I wanted to go to the gym and start working out mm -hmm. and I haven't gone to the gym yet. Mm. I want you to take me through a boxer's mentality. Because when mm. you say you get into the gym, uh, into the ring and you heat and, and, and you have to stay firm, mm. uh, plus the stereotypes we hear about women shouldn't be in these sports, mm -hmm. just help me inspire some girl, young boy out there. What, what is your mentality like when you wake up in the morning and mm. you say I've got to fight in a week or two weeks? Okay, me as Nanzuri, uh, my mentality in boxing is like cause I'm a, I'm a lady and tomorrow it's men's day of yeah. course so I will speak for the young girls out there cause I'm a, a girl empowering I empower the girl child brilliant yeah so we me as Nanzri talking for the girls out there we in our head we do think straight that we've entered a sport mm. and ladies are they think that ladies are not capable of this sport mm. Yet me, I do like to be unique. So we girls in boxing, we do give in all that we've given so that we could be, like, people should give us more respect yeah. in the game and they should see us as ladies who can stand by their rights, yeah. values, and empowerment. Yeah. So I do wake up in the morning thinking that it's today, then tomorrow, so I do I want to, the present, okay, yeah. the future. I, I think of the thing right now. So I say, today I woke up, I have to do training. I have a fight in like one month. Mm -hmm. And the person I'm going to fight, he, she also works out. Mm -hmm. And I say that, what, can, what is that something extra I can do to mm -hmm. show the girls out there that we can do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wake up and I say, what should I do? 
let me add this so that when I reach to the fight, yeah. I give the best representation in the fight and the best goals mm -hmm. to keep more girls coming in the sport. But you understand when he says that everything you've done at amateur level now does not count. This is a whole new stage. Uh, and of course, you must appreciate the journey you've gone through. But okay. this, is, this, is, this is different now. Yeah. Of course, pro is different because as in school, when you are perfect, it does count that school. Yeah. So when you go to the governor, governance, yeah. like president or what, that's another stage. Yeah. So this mm -hmm. counts l when you're in school, then the next counts when you're up. So yeah. amateur, it counts when you, you put in my amateur records mm. that they send us with Catherine, these fights in amateur. Then now professional, I started this new level. It has to be very unique and up yeah. with higher scores and goals. And you're looking forward. And I'm looking forward to it because I'm a champ. Yeah, well, well done. Talk about it one. Talk about it one. Catherine, yeah. talking of which, you know, getting into your mind and, you know, working while thinking about the person you're going to face, mm. Nicola Cheng, the Kenyan. Mm. What should we know about her? Oh, what are you planning for her? Mm. Okay, let me make this straight. Yeah. Me as Nazri, uh -huh. I think even if they would have brought a male boxer to fight me, I was ready. Yes. So if I'm going to faint a Kenyan, yeah. Nicola Cheng, mm -hmm. it's not that she's very special. Actually, we are in East, in East Africa. So East Africa is like, it's like these fights, the opponents I get, keep me just active. Because here in Uganda, I looked for all the opponents and people were just cared of me, they ran yeah. away. Yeah. Some <laughs> just even say, no, I can't fight her. Yeah. Yet this thing <coughs> helps. Mm. We're building the girl child in Uganda that in yeah. boxing. Yeah. So they just refused to fight with me. So I said, no, what should I do? Because I can't mm. lose a fight. Yeah. I yeah. can't be, when I'm not active in the sport, yet people refuse, refuse to fight me. Mm. So my promoters, Travel Sports and NB Promotions, they decided to get me a, a what? A fighter, uh, my opponent from another country so that I could show the world that they they shouldn't have been yeah. scared of me because yeah. I'm a girl. You're simply going to beat yeah, them and move on. Yeah, because I'm going to beat them and move yeah. on. Because I'm looking for opponents that could suit in my career right now. Yeah. Because I'm an Olympian, you know how Olympians be. Yeah. Not everyone is an <laughs> Olympian. I like the so. <laughs> uh, Sambia, uh, women's uh, women's boxing. Hey, it's, it's come a long way, hey. It's it's um, been a real journey. Yeah, certainly. <coughs> We've had, uh, like she mentioned, Helen Balike. I mean, she's had an opportunity to share a stage with mm. arguably the greatest woman boxer, Clarissa uh, Shields. Yeah. I mean, they are fought at uh, the World Championship tw 2014, it was, I think. Mm. Mm. Then as we speak right now, she's, I mean, she's the, the only boxer, both male and female, mm. to be undisputed in four weight divisions. I mean, That's she's huge. breaking all the records, yeah. and she's only had... Uh, 12, uh, I mean, I mean, 12 what? 12 fights yeah. on her record, but I mean, she's winning everything. Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, it's an easier path for, for Nancy Lee, mm -hmm. I mean, to make it through. I mean, a lot of people have been saying, no, she's not had enough uh, amateur experience. But I'll tell you, fighters like uh, Amanda Serrano, I mean, who is having a, a fight, I think, next, this month mm -hmm. with, uh, t with, with Katie, Katie Taylor. Mm -hmm. ne next month with Katie Taylor, she's had only 12 fights, yeah. lost once. And she's broken all records there yeah. is. And their fight is actually going to be the first female fight, mm -hmm. both of them, to, to go on pay-per-view yeah. mm -hmm. as a main event. Oh, wow. So, I mean, mm -hmm. there's a big, huge opportunity for yeah. her to, to reach uh, the milestone, which is uh, getting in the paid ranks. Yeah. So we, we have hope, we have belief in her. I mean, we're calling upon Ugandans to first April show up, come, show up and come. you're going to see who Nanze is. Yeah. You're going to see... Who the rest of the boxers of that they've said that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll miss you. <laughs> yeah, they, they already do miss me. Yeah. Because I less fought. They also, I actually, they saw it on the screens yeah. when I was in touch. And now I want them to see reality. The real. <laughs> let, let me have a look at the <laughs> ticket. Ja, guys, do you remember we're giving five of these away? Uh, I don't know if my cameraman can get me to this. Uh, we're giving five of these away, and uh, all you have to do is quickly hit us up on our. Uh, Twitter page right now and uh, tell us uh, any name of a Ugandan boxer to have won a medal <laughs> at the Olympics. It's as simple as that. If you can get that right, then you definitely give yourself a chance of uh, on the 1st of April yeah. uh, watching really the extravaganza. Mangusha, you have some few final questions uh, as we try to wrap this one up. Uh, this, this goes to, uh, to, to Nanzuri and uh, this is before we flip uh, the, the, the page. Nanzuri, why should Ugandans be excited about 
this weekend's event. Uh, and then, uh, to Sembuya, of course, we, are, we understand your sports uh, company, your promotion company, mm. and, and the boxers that you have. Mm. These are the boxers, or some of the boxers, mm. that never appended their signatures mm. to the contract of uh, the boxing president, Mohanji. Yeah. Is this the alternative of the Champions League, or <laughs> we go with her first? Yeah. <coughs> Actually, okay. <laughs> People, first April is the fight. And uh, it's not full day. Ah, no. Actually, it will be Fool's Day. Yeah. Now, this is She'll really make a of someone. <laughs> oh, it will, be, it will be after midday. So, so we are good. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then the fight, it will be before. So, yeah. even if it was in the morning time, yeah. this was the time you're going to see who is the fool and who is the one. <laughs> so, it was going to be fun. Actually, before we, we do change, I would like to thank some people yeah. who have probably Go on. me here. Go on. I would like to thank Bernard and Florence mm. Buzabo Foundation because it really made me inspire me a lot because it's a foundation of young people. It do help people. So, and I'm a person who likes to do help. Yeah. And it makes me happy. I would like to my sponsors, our sponsors, Showbrand Sports, African Chocolate, SWAT Team, mm. and A and B Promotions, where I'm from. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Great stuff. Uh, the political question now. Um, Are you trying <coughs> to overtake a sitting government, my friend? You know, we actually, uh, professional boxing yeah. is business. Mm. Mm. Uh, amateur boxing, uh, led by that gentleman, is nursery boxing, yeah. in brief. Moses Mohanji. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Nursery but, boxing. Yeah, it's nursery boxing. Wow. Because, I mean, that's where we learn how to do boxing. Okay. But when you go to pro boxing, which is headed by Uhuru, that's now serious business. Mm -hmm. uh, without a doubt, these are the faces of boxing. Mm. Uh, even when they were still in the amateurs, I mean, people would wait when, and will be asking, when is Shadio playing? Yeah. When is Semujo playing? When is Catherine playing? I mean, it's when they, they, they show up. Um, um, Champions League, I mean, we have the champions. We have the faces of boxing. Yeah. And I believe uh, if only government can be serious, because, you know, it's accepted as long as an amateur boxer has not played more than, uh, had not less than 10, less than, has had less than 10 fights, yeah, yeah. then they can always come back to represent the country mm. but as we speak the guys at Champions League mm. have all I mean the big number have lost yeah. so it doesn't really make sense because this is government money mm. taking guys who have lost to the Commonwealth mm -hmm. I mean we're giving these guys we have a contract with, with the boxers that we've signed yeah. a four-year uh, sorry uh, four fight uh, contract, contract this year yeah. so there's still an opportunity yeah. Because if we really need medals, yeah. I mean, National Council and government should come out. But, but, but Nasari boxing is equally important, no? Um, I, I mean, for it's important. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been important. I mean, these guys want to carry the flag as mm -hmm. well. So if the opportunity is there, I mean, they are playing pro right now. In the past Olympics, we, we had guys like uh, David, Sh uh, David Sean, who is, uh, who is American. Mm -hmm. uh, he had played three uh, professional fights, mm -hmm. went to Olympics, and is now back signed by top rank. And, you know, he's back in the mix. And all. I mean, we've seen so many people yeah. who have played at the amateurs, uh, who have played pro, then go back to, um, to, to the amateurs. So, I mean, we have... Uh -huh. uh, we have the best the boxers. No, no, we have the best boxers. So, uh -huh. I mean, once again, the guys that we have are the real champions there, yeah. uh -huh. in my opinion. So people need to come and watch these ones uh, on exact, the first of uh, Exactly. Yeah, if, yeah sure. Ma ma what Sam is trying to say, you see, according to the <coughs> Boxing Federation, mm. the boxers fighting in the Champions League are the ones that will qualify to, for the Birmingham uh, Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, if they are to go by that, these guys have no chance of being in Birmingham. And what Sembi is trying to say, mm. government should stick to what normally happens whereby there are trials. Mm. Now, of course, the Boxing Federation will tell you the trials are the Champions League. Mm. Yeah. But that's something new. Yeah. So all they are saying is NTS, government, should keep their eyes open. If they want the medals. If they want the medals. <laughs> if they want the medals. And, and, and actually put up real trials, yeah. not just counting on the Champions League. Because mm. if they go with the Champions League alone, mm. none of these guys will be in Birmingham. I mean, I mean, there's got to be a reason why all the top clubs are yeah. not in the Champions League. Uganda Police, mm. UPDF, KCCA, KB, KBC, KCCA mm. Zana Boxing Club, which is the club that I represent, that was banned, actually, yeah. because many of the, of the clubs were touching, they were banning them. Yeah. So, I mean, 
uh, East Coast, yeah. A and B, which in my opinion is the best boxing club in Uganda. I mean, they're not participating in Champions League. Mm -hmm. What have we got there? Yeah. So, I mean, what I actually thought, uh, the Federation should not be looking at, should not have looked at the Champions League because when, when they came out of the, of, the, of the Olympics, they ought to have done a post-mortem yeah. to find out, I mean, why did these guys not perform well? I mean, they have never sat them down. Yeah. So what these guys need is to build boxing from the grassroots. Yeah. I mean, you don't look at university, you're not looking at nursery, yeah. you're not looking at um, primary or secondary. I mean, they're going straight yeah. and inviting everyone. I mean, if you could throw some punches, mm -hmm. Kabura, yeah. I, 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 I can assure you, you would be in the Champions League right oh, now. Oh, really? Yeah, but, oh, really? I mean, but you're not good to qualify oh, to be in the yeah, Champions League. That, because it's got, to be, it's got to be a league for the champions. Yeah, absolutely. No, the, not the, the, the man has failed to self-qualify for a gym. <laughs> 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 no, guys, as we wrap this one up, uh, because we're running out of time. First of all, I want to thank you for coming. It's such a huge pleasure. Uh, uh, we, I've, we're got some, have, uh, I've got some people to thank as well. Yeah, no, we, we, I'm going to give you that chance. I think I should give you the chance before I have a final word from Catherine okay. then. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank all the boxing fans. Yeah. Because without the fans, they can't be boxing. I mean, you can't go in the ring, box on yourself when you don't the have crowd. the fans. So we need the crowd as much as possible. One, NTV, mm. thank you very much for the opportunity. I will represent NTV. Yeah, thank well, you. Yeah, you're, you're, thank you're welcome. You, yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. For that, I'll also give you a VIP ticket. Ah, come on, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. So I would like to thank NTV, um, African Chocolate Company, which mm. is the company that I represent. Mm. We, we, we produce chocolate. 12 Sports Rounds, the number one... Uh, promotion bi uh, business right now, yeah. KCCA, uh, which has given opportunity to our boxers. They actually, for the next two years, they're being contracted and they'll be earning a salary for the next two nice. years, which is awesome. Um, Fists uh, of Hope, uh, which is um, uh, helping out a, a lot of girls where she comes out and A and B. Then uh, Sapatu, uh, which has uh, done the branding for the tickets and everything. Great. Damazo. Uh, is another one that is helping us on super this event. Uh, yeah. thank you very much uh, guys we appreciate you coming but the final word is definitely from you let me just say I'm super proud that you've come this far thank um, you. And, and this is not just to because you're a woman this mm. is what they said no, I'm really proud that you have put in the effort and you've come this far and I want you to know you're going to inspire so many girls out there mm. so your final word is not just about the event coming up you going pro Smart. but I also want you to talk to the, the young girls out there mm. Mm -hmm. actually that's what I'm best in I'm good in uh, encouraging the young girls, the women out there, because tomorrow it's a very special day for us as women in, uh, women in sports, women yeah. around the world, the mothers in the, ro in the world. So all I am um, to say to you guys, the girls, the mothers, girl, child, that we are all champions yeah. and we can all do whatever people say we can't do. We, we all, all we have to do is that. We have to keep authentic to ourselves. Be representable, take care of ourselves, and always yeah. follow, follow our passion and yeah. rules, our dreams. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Stephen, you know your microphone is on, eh? Oh. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I just forgot one company. Uh, Visage Salon. Uh, yeah. I mean, these guys are doing an awesome, go uh, an awesome job, yeah. majorly for Olympians. I mean, good stuff. Yeah, so thank you. Thank